Sometimes designing interesting characters isn't about finding the most interesting characteristics, but finding interesting amounts of characteristics that could even be kind of mundane. Ted Wheeler is a hilarious character. His design takes the mundane suburban dad archetype and cranks everything that means up to like 200%. Dad says some lame corny things sometimes, but for Ted, every single line is bursting with corny lame energy. Remind me, when do they become reasonable human beings again? His look could not be more 80s dad. There's a level of complacency we associate with these types. Ted is oblivious or sleeping in basically every scene of his. And a lot of Stranger Things characters are exactly this kind of 200% normal. The kooky neighbor conspiracy theorist is every stereotype you can think of for that character archetype. The nerdy characters have every nerdy hobby imaginable. They look nerdy, they talk nerdy, they are 200% nerdy. Billy's look is 200% Californian. The boring guy who works at the arcade is 200% boring guy who works at the arcade. The way I think of it, it's like you can have the normal level, which is kind of boring for these archetypes. You can push it further and get a caricature, but that comes off as kind of cheap. But if you push even further, if you go way further than you should, all the boring stuff somehow becomes interesting again. I love it. Such an interesting method.